What is going on everybody? It's your boy Just Chase with another side of another side of my channel. Not just Call of Duty. I'm also if for you guys that are new, I don't just do Call of Duty. I also do like YouTube tips and uh, all kinds of info you need to know if maybe you're starting your own YouTube channel, all kinds of cool things. Well this one as you buy a we're gonna talk about the top three best free screen recording softwares for twenty seventeen coming up and the end of twenty sixteen of course. So I have a list somewhere around here. Oh my god. Can, yes, I do need a piece of paper because I cannot remember all the pros and cons for these uh, softwares that I'm showing you. In the background, I'm playing Call of Duty, of course, because that's so far the only thing I really have to record. Uh, yeah. Anyway, um, so we're going to start out with number one. This is a recording software that I've used throughout since I had my computer and I started recording. When I was younger, I used to record Minecraft, and I still might do that. Like, it seems like really fun. I just don't have the computer to do that right now. I'm building one, and I will plan on maybe starting a series like that if you'd like to see it, leave a like below and also if you enjoyed this video please leave a like below and subscribe if you're new by the way if you haven't i'm trying to get to 100 trying it's going very very badly <laughs> anyway starting off with number one i use this program a long time ago and i still use it to this day if i want to record something fast and easy and quick because you'll know why i don't use this for long gameplays anyway it's fraps of course you know that if you have been in the gaming community on like a pc and you want to you know how to record you're going to know what i'm talking about when i say this recording software it's a free easy to use software i'll leave all the links to the the three softwares into the link below uh just uh, download on the pretty no virus free. Um, the only one I haven't used is uh, ice cream screen recorder. That's the third one, and uh, I just let you guys know that. Right. Anyway, okay. So the cons are the pros of Fraps is there's no watermark, there's no time limit, and it's not bad quality. It's great quality. The only con I would say to this program is that it's huge file size. If you record like 10 minutes, it's like five gigabytes. Right? No, that's probably even the lowest. Like. It's probably like 10 gigabytes for 10. It's a minute, a gigabyte, I swear. A gigabyte, a minute. Wow, I'm horrible with this talking and commenting. I have to get back to where I was, guys. I'm very sorry. <laughs> anyway, this program is very easy to use. You download it, you can pretty much go through everything. And there's a lot of tutorials out there on how to use the program. I'm thinking about doing my own. If you want to uh, know a tutorial for any of these softwares, just leave one in the video or the comments, and I'll do a tutorial on how to use them. Because I know how to use all of them. Ooh, excuse me, I just got to eat and I just had a burp. Okay, so yeah, it's very easy to use. Uh, you can change the FPS on it. Um, you can make it stay in the game where it's like not fluctuating. So like, I mean, if you know what I'm talking about, you might be playing and then it'll like drop to 30 frames and then up to 60 and then back down to 30. If you just click a button, it'll just stay there. And uh, I don't really have the program on my PC right now. Well, not on the screen right now because I'm doing Call of Duty content. I'll do a later video on the fraps. Oh wow, that was very low. Holy crap, that's TV behind me, sorry. <laughs> anyway, let's move on to number two of the uh, free softwares. And it is OBS. I've used this plenty of times. Uh, I use it for recording. I use it for if I wanted to stream. And I use it, well, of course, when I stream on Twitch and all kinds of things. I go for OBS. Now, you can also use DX Story. I would suggest that too. Maybe, maybe these two would be number two, I guess. OBS or DX Story. Whichever one you want. I'll leave the, both of the links in the description below check them out OBS is pretty easy to use it's free it's a recording software it's a streaming software as well uh, the pros of it is not big file size at all the, it's good quality and for both recording and streaming and there's no watermark of course which is great you don't want watermark on your video and the cons is it can be complicated it can very be it can be very complicated to use very complicated to use uh, there's a lot of tutorials out there on how to use it some of them can get complicated but I know I use it and I might make a video later on about that too as well so yeah go check that out if you want to try it uh, it also kind of requires a beefy computer not really that bad I use it and I don't have that beefy of a computer you can check out my PC specs in my uh, about page anyway let's get on to the next recording software and this is ice cream screen recorder uh, it's very good quality I've only used it like two times and I've never had a problem with it as much as I've had problems with OBS or fraps and having to troubleshoot them Maybe that's because I've only used it two times, but hey, I guess try it and see if it doesn't work. I'll try the other two, but I prefer this over anything else with not anything on this list, but anything else other than these two. 
Anyway, Ice Cream Stream Recorder has got good quality. Uh, there's no watermarks. The only con to it is that there's a time limit and it's only 10 minutes. But there can be an easy alternative to that. And that could be just record 10 minutes on, 10 minutes on another video of merging together in Sunny Vegas or whatever your recording software is. I mean, your uh, editing software is. And then just combine and merge them together and you got a full 20 minute video. No time limit. But yeah, I guess that can get annoying being able, only being able to record 10 minutes, which suck. But hey, it's. It's a recording software. It'll get you to where you're going. Anyway, guys, that's the end of this episode or this tutorial or info. I don't even know what you would call this. But that's the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, if it helped you out, if you benefited from any of these programs, uh, please leave a like below. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys next time.